What's going on here tonight? Girls. Guys. Beers. Fun. A pregame. The American pregame is an unrivaled cultural ceremony that does not make a lick of sense. In no other facet of life is the warm-up for an event more important than the event itself, except for the pregame. It's a time where people of all races, religions, creeds, and colors can come together and prepare for the night to come. If handled poorly, the night will be over before it starts. But if handled properly, the pregame is literally greater than the game itself. I recently traveled to the University of Miami where tonight these two men were throwing a real life pregame. What makes a pregame great? Well, that's, that's a pretty important question. I would say the one thing that makes a pregame really great is the amount of chicks that come. Chicks are at the forefront of every great pregamer's mind. The Babel girls are going to be there. Is the girl I'm talking to going to be there? Or am I going to have to play a different angle tonight? Going ahead and switching it up a bit. You go both ways? No, I don't go both ways. Especially for men who don't go both ways, conversing with women in attendance is key for overall pregame vibe. You got to just, you have to be the initiator. You have to start talking to people. That's what I've noticed. You have to start talking to the group of girls, and then you bring your fucking friend over, and then they're talking to them, and then they're talking to them. I'll be the leader of the group of girls. All right, uh, so what am I saying to the leader of the group of girls to initiate them to stop being on just one side and be like on their phones? What's up, ladies? How we doing tonight? Hey. What? 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 No, nothing. You just kind of distracted me with your. We're beauty. just over here. What? I'm just wondering what you guys are doing over here. Well, why don't we just talk to some people? Let's We're make some friends. We're listening to music. Well, why don't we change up the music a little bit and we can really change the vibes on this bitch? You're gross. <sighs> Changing the vibes in this bitch isn't as easy as it sounds, as strict rules must be followed. Bops only? Yes, bops only, bangers, obviously, and uh, occasionally there's a couple of those songs that come on and you're like, all right, skip, skip, skip. I'm not a big fan of it. It's true. As high as a party can go with the right music, the total opposite is possible if the wrong person gets the ox. We have to set up the soundtrack because we can't have any trash songs on. What do you mean? Well, you know, when the girls come to the party and they fucking attach and they go ahead and they play none other than what ass pussy. And how's that go? <sighs> There's some hoes in this house. 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 I will not repeat that. And do you like that when there's hoes in the house? I, I like when there's hoes in the house. I just don't like hearing that there's hoes in the house. If you're gonna pronounce yourself as a hoe, at that point you're no longer attractive to me. You have to be a secret hoe. What was not a secret is that whether the boys were ready or not, this pregame was right around the corner. When people come here tonight, mm -hmm. what do you want people to leave with? When they leave the pregame and they enter into the game, what do you want them to leave with? I want them to know that they're going to have the time of their life tonight. The pregame was officially underway. And as more people began to trickle in and more tops were popped, more anxiety started to mount. As 30 minutes turned into an hour, it was becoming clear that something was amiss. How do you think the party's going? Could be a little better. Really? I think so. I think it's going pretty well right now, but it could be a little better. What could be better? Uh, the ratio. Ratio's kind of off right now. Some girls didn't show up? Yeah. What happened? Flaked on us. Why? I don't know, it's some Fugazi shit. Fugazi shit, maybe, but what kind? Late night class is, is what I'm putting into my head right now. Mm -hmm. For this pregame's ratio to be corrected, aggressive cellular communication was necessary. Hello. Caroline, what's good? AJ, hey, what's up? I know, it's been a while, but uh, I was wondering, what are you doing right now? Uh, I am. 
Um, right now, I'm having a pretty kick-ass pregame. I was wondering if you guys wanted to come through. Um, let me talk to Sienna and see what she's up for. We just made a sharp buttery board, so we are currently enjoying that. A uh who? -huh. Um, Things were not looking good. Until, in one magical moment, this happened. A girl came. Um, I just got some really, really interesting calls, being like, I think you should come. How many calls did you get? About like, enough. <laughs> Perseverance and persistence on the phone lines had saved this pregame. One new girl led to two, two led to three, and before you knew it, the ratio was just fine. The night was officially not over before it started. However, I was curious to know if there was a way to avoid it ever getting this close again. If you could give these guys one word of advice, what would it be? One word, could you could give them one coaching point, seeing what you've seen tonight, what would that coaching point be? Hmm. Probably, like a better playlist. <laughs> The music yeah, was that's bad. That's what I would say. The music is terrible. What song would you have played? I would probably play WAP. <laughs> it's true. Girls really do love WAP. And men really do love girls. And when these two facts are realized together, so too is the perfect pregame. This was the best pregame of my entire life! Let's go! Sick pregame! Sick time! We're